It's important to always unplug the power supply before performing any maintenance on the robot. Check the impeller on the top of the cleaner regularly to be sure it's not blocked by debris. If the impeller needs to be cleaned, first remove the filter compartments on both sides of the robot. Then remove the center screw and the impeller housing lid as shown. If you can see debris in the impeller, remove it. Make sure the impeller moves freely. If not, you may need to replace the motor at your local service center. If there is debris beneath the impeller, remove the impeller. Remove the top screw holding the impeller. Pull the impeller and clean the shaft. The impeller shaft has a flattened side to it, as does the impeller. Match them up as you reinstall the impeller to the shaft. Then screw in the top screw. Do not over tighten this screw, just get it snug. Then replace the impeller housing lid and tighten the screw. Again, do not over tighten. Just get it snug. You don't want to crack the impeller housing lid. Then replace the filters back into the unit as shown. The filters in the Harmony can be viewed from the top of the cleaner to see how full they are without even removing Harmony from the water. When full, simply remove the robot from the pool and pull the filters out of the body using the handle on top. Remove heavy debris by hand and then hose out the smaller debris. The filters will usually last three years or more, and replacing them is easy. Remove the filter lid by pressing the tabs with a flathead screwdriver to remove the clear lid. Pull the old element out of the frame, as shown. You can then hose down the filters and assure that they're perfectly clean. To reinstall, put the filter back in the filter basket as shown. To replace the door, pull gently from the center as shown. The door will snap out. To replace, put one side into the filter basket and gently bend into place as shown. Then you can reinstall the lid, just snap it back into place, and return the filters into the unit. It's a good idea to check the handle release mechanism to make sure it's moving as you lift and lower the handle, as shown. Make sure that no dirt or debris is blocking the release mechanism. Once you're sure everything's working correctly, you can replace the filter basket in the unit. There are two components inside the robot, the motor assembly and the chlorine generator cell. The cell should be examined every two weeks to see if it has scale accumulated on the plates. If there is scale, simply snap the coil out from its bracket inside the robot. Disconnect the cell using the quick disconnect plug 
and place into a cell cleaning solution for approximately 20 minutes. Your dealer can provide you with the cell cleaning solution. Hose the cell off with water and snap back into place using the guide rails. Then reconnect the cable and screw them together as shown. Tuck the wires away between the motor and the chlorine generator cell. You can now return the filter baskets to the unit. If your bottom brush becomes worn, you may need to replace it. With a screwdriver, push the tab in and remove the wheel, as shown. To replace, Set the wheel gear in place and snap the new wheel in. The wheels may need replacement at some point during the life of the robot. To remove a wheel, use a flathead screwdriver to press the tab releasing the hubcap. One screw releases the wheel and replaces with the new wheel in the reverse sequence. Reinstall the wheel on the axle and place the hub onto the wheel carefully. Carefully screw the hub onto the axle to secure the wheel. Then snap the hub cap back into place. Harmony carries a two-year warranty on the power drive components and a one-year on the chlorination cell. You may contact the manufacturer by emailing customersupport at solax.com for warranty questions.